Welcome back to Sporns Pro. In this video, I'm going to show you one way that you can save a contaminated mushroom liquid culture or liquid culture syringe. Many times, a contaminated mushroom liquid culture can look totally normal and go undetected, and if it makes it into the next process of making grain spawn, it can create major problems and even cause your grow to fail completely. That's why it's recommended to test one drop of the liquid culture on an agar plate. By doing this, the contamination will grow on the agar plate, letting you know that the liquid culture is contaminated and not to use it. The jar of liquid culture that I'm using in this example I already know is super contaminated. After only a couple days, I can already see the contamination with no sign of mycelium that we would normally be able to isolate away from the contamination and save. So if you have a mushroom liquid culture syringe that is completely contaminated on agar, but you still want to grow the mushrooms, here's one way that you can actually save the mycelium. Using the same syringe that I tested on agar, I inoculate a jar of sterilized honey water. Now if you let the jar grow for about one month without stirring or disturbing the jar, the mycelium will start growing on the surface and eventually start growing up the side of the glass. And although we know that the liquid culture is contaminated, the idea is that the mycelium growing up the side of the glass away from the contamination will allow us to actually isolate the mycelium on an agar plate. And that's exactly what I do here using a flame sterilized scalpel to reach into the jar and grab that mycelium off the side of the glass. And here I have successfully isolated the mycelium onto the agar plate where I wouldn't have been able to do this before with the original agar plate. And now I flame sterilize the scalpel and then transfer a piece of that agar plate to a new one just to make sure that I have completely isolated the mycelium away from any contamination. And that's how you can save a contaminated mushroom liquid culture. Another way to use this method is to inoculate a small jar of grain with the contaminated syringe and do the same thing. Wait for the mycelium to grow up the side of the glass jar and then you'll be able to isolate it. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was helpful. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below or join the new Discord community which I'll leave in the description.